Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and today we want to give you a great workaround if you do not have kettlebells at your gym for the bottom up kettlebell press. If you don't know what that is, Jenny will demonstrate a few reps for you. It is a great one for your shoulder stability, rotator cuff health, all that jazz. The kettlebell wobbling around is really, really good for your shoulder and really helps you to learn good technique when you're pressing. So if you don't have a kettlebell, ideally try and get one if you can um, because it's a great way to start building up your shoulder stability long term but if you just want to try and get the benefits in whatever way you can if you do have bumper plates at your gym or at home that you could use instead it needs to be big a small fractional plate won't cut it it's too easy to hold it needs to have that element of that it's moving around on you that little bit so then you can start to work on bracing nice and tight and then slowly reaching up to press the weight overhead so you still get kind of the same um, benefits as the bottom up press not quite as good but rather than missing out on the benefits altogether, it's a great way to start adding in a bit of assistance work that's quite easy to do. That's why I'm very fond of the bottom-up press and um, because it is you just lift the kettlebell and you do your reps. You know, you don't need to get a bamboo stick and some bands and stuff to try and work on your shoulder stability. You can do this quite regularly and just a few reps at the start of your session will be enough to keep your shoulders feeling good, okay? So if you don't have any kettlebells or access to kettlebells, then a uh, bumper plate is one of the workarounds that you can start to use. Okay, guys? 